a new segment on Live at Daybreak. Ooh, here's the music. <laughs> Entertaining with E and J. This is fantastic. <laughs> so Alicia told me she, and at our last station, did something like this. And yeah, very similar. You love cooking. I do. You know, besides weather, I also love to cook. So okay. um, this morning, in our first installment of Entertaining with E and J, we are actually going to make my famous guacamole dip. Nice. Okay, so when you pick out, we're just doing the, the pre, you know, cooking. Yeah, so we got all the ingredients here, of course. So we're going to use three of these avocados. We have our cilantro. Of course, you need the lime. We'll cut that up. Um, I already I chopped some red onion or purple onion for us. Mm -hmm. You'll need that. Um, the onion is key, and I can smell it. That's right. T tomato. We have uh, one clove of garlic and habanero pepper for a little kick, you know. I, I like it, you know, this is optional, but I, I like to give it a, a little kick. So do you like mild or really, really hot? Not really, really hot, but just, you know, a little, a little spice. And of course, we need salt, salt very important. So this is kosher salt. Um, you, you don't have to use it, but I, I like to use it because it just kind of makes it easier to season the guacamole. And I have some tortilla chips here. And picking out the perfect um, avocado, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that your avocados are ripe. When I got these, they were they were kind of hard, so they weren't They're soft now. quite ready yet. But um, a trick is, or a, a tip that you could do, is take them and put them in a brown paper bag and just kind of like store them in a, a dark place, and they'll they'll soften up. It took it about mm, two or three days for these to get like this. All right. Well, we will in our next hour put it all together for you. So now you know the ingredients, Alicia. Thank you so much. Very exciting. <laughs>